Sunday morning. Many thanks indeed for calling through. Lovely to be with you. Fantastic to have you with me. Hope you're keeping okay and uh, not had too many to drink last night. The old Saturday cometh, as they say. It can be quite heavy, can't it? So if you've got a sore head, uh, there you go. I'll tell you what you need. You need a couple of them. Back to front, it might be, but it's Norafen. I work really hard. I have a lot of hours at the PC and the, the lights and the screens and the studying and the research. It can draw you so you can get the old headache doing that. And if you have the old bottle of Vimto on top, well, anything can happen, can't it? Anything can happen, as they say, in the next half hour on Stingray. Right, we need to get on. I've got two bets. I'm going to get myself comfy here. I'm dressed up nice and smart for you. Got my old uh, suede jacket on this morning. Right, two bets, a 15 to 2 chance at Southall and a, a nice big juicy one at Punches down in the Grand National Trial. Uh, I'll give you that one as well in a moment. The pair around 50 to 1 the double and of course a couple of weeks ago I nailed a 40 to 1 double at Cheltenham with two bets, two winners. I really enjoy it to do that today. And last Saturday I gave you a 7 to 1 winner with Hold Fast doing the business as well. Unfortunately yesterday I went for three big prize horses, 10 to 1 which came third in a 7 horse race, a 12 to 1 which hit the deck sadly and fell unfortunately, and a 33 to 1 chance of running in a real false run race, uh, coming 10th of 21 out the back door and will no doubt oblige very soon and another day. But there we go, when Saturday cometh, it did not do the business. 10 to 1, 12 to 1 and 33 to 1, big prices and uh, well, you just got to keep going, that's for sure. A thousand winners in the last uh, 22 months. Thousand winners in the last 22 months on this channel and over a million views, over one million views. And I thank you all for tuning in, that's for sure. And uh, thanks very much for everyone who's wrote in about all those winners you've had as well. And uh, long may it continue, and long it will continue. They can't all win, especially if you're tipping huge price horses. If you think they can, well, you know, they can't. Simple as that. But if you're tipping big price horses and you have a big high strike rate, and I do have a 40% win and play strike rate on all my bets, 40%. Although there was no percent yesterday, I can hear you say, that's not what it's all about. It's all about the long term and the longevity. And over month by month, month by month, I hit 40% win and play strike rate on all bets at an average price around about 15 to 2. So that's how it is. And that's how it's been for many, many a year. And uh, some win, some lose. But overall, 40% of them either win or place at huge prices. Right, let's go to Southall. Come on. We need to get on. 350 at Southall. Now, there's a horse I'm very keen on here. Very, very keen. And it's trained by a young lady called Susan Corbett. Now, Susan Corbett's last horse was a one, what won was a horse I actually tipped, a horse called Clear Angel, uh, which absolutely bolted up at Newcastle. And then two, two goes before that, she won with a horse called Atomic Angel. So Susan's in great form. Uh, little known about Susan, but she's had five winners from only 55 runners, and that's a pretty high strike rate. And she's had 32 winners in all in the last few years. So she knows how to train a winner. She's got a horse in here, a lovely mare, who's tongue-tied and is running in a cellar. And it's going to be a bit of a gutter, I think, in one way, if she wins this one, because Susan's going to have to buy her back. But she probably will be able to buy her back, because she wouldn't want to lose this one. I know it's a popular horse in the yard. The horse is number two. It's called Star Dreamer. Star Dreamer. It goes in the 350 at Southall. It is a seller. 11 runners go to post. And I'm going each way, of course, on number two, Star Dreamer. Currently priced around 15 to 2, 8 to 1 to your money. Uh, well, this horse is very interesting because the last three races it's ran at Carlisle, Sedgefield and Newcastle. It's run over the obstacles. It's run over hurdles. Hasn't been doing any good as such. 13th, 6th and an eighth so he had a sighting mission or she had a sighting mission but she's only five and she's got a lot to learn still and I, I think this also has got a bit of progression in it and I could pop up today no doubt about it twice before that it ran at Newcastle on the all weather uh, ridden by a young apprentice Moon who claimed five and claimed seven now the key thing well one of the key things is certainly reverting back to the all weather today but another key thing is written by the great Danny Muscott today for the first time. A significant booking, and without a doubt, that's uh, got to be a fact. Susan Corbett has booked Danny Muscott to ride it, and more to point, Danny Muscott wanted to ride her. So, number two, Star Dreamer, 
take note and take heed of all the positives there. Reverting back to the all weather, well handicapped up for mark of 52. One more positive, it's got a tong tie on for the first time, which sounds like a negative because it's breathing, etc. But not at all. There's a lot of new stuff going on with this horse today. As I said, Danny Muscat takes the reins, tongue tied for the first time, dropped in weights, reverting to Southall on the all weather, dropped in a cellar as well uh, from these hurdle races as well. So it's all plus, plus, plus in my opinion. And it is a pretty weak affair to say the least that you'd expect in a selling race at Southall this afternoon, 0-55 uh, rated. So in the 3.50 at Southall, I'll say no more, other than number two, Star Dreamer is my selection. A pretty confident one as well. Uh, I think it's currently priced around about 15 to 2. Let me tell you exactly what uh, the price is, shall we, as we're speaking now. Uh, because I do like this horse. Yes, it's 15 to 2. Uh, if you go to Paddy Power or Skybet, they pay out first four on this event. And I find it really hard to think this horse is not going to be in the first four of a you know, 11 or so fair at Southern where, to be honest with you, it's a very weak race indeed. And this one has got a bit of progression in it and is a little bit unexposed still. And I think Susan Corbett, two out of the last three horses she sent out have won. So there we go. All plus there for me uh, and all plus for you. Number two, Star Dreamer is the sec first bet of the day. I'm ahead of myself there. And it goes in the 350 at Southern. By the way, I will be coming online tonight at six o'clock and I'll be previewing uh, Monday's action. We've got Catrick Plumpton at uh, Wolverhampton. I will be having a very big bet tonight on this channel. A uh, significant bet. I'll just say that. A significant bet. And it's one that you do not want to miss. So be sure to make a date with me at 6 p.m. tonight. I'm looking forward to uh, being with you, uh, guaranteed that. Okay, so uh, let's go uh, to Punchestown for the big meeting taking place there. A lot of big races in Ireland lately, and I've tipped an untold amount of winners over in Ireland for sure. And I think this one could be another. However, it is a very, very difficult race. It's the Grand National Trial Handicap Chase. A lot of horses uh, really having a pop at the distance uh, today for the first time. And some have tried it before and not got home. But there's a young horse in this race that I'm, I'm very sweet on. And I think it could uh, do the business. Just before I give you, uh, and it is a quickie, just give us a thumbs up if you would. Uh, it means a lot to me, especially after a disappointing day yesterday, you know. 10 to 1, 12 to 1, 33 to 1, I know, but still disappointing because I'm used to backing big prize winners. And when I have a blank, when I do have a blank, it's, you know, it's, it's not it's not good. It's not good. Not good for me, not good for anyone. But as I say, over a month, it's 40% strike rate win and place, 15 to 2 average prices. And that's month in, month out for donkey's year. So, but it, it's still thumbs up if you would, please. It, it all helps. That's for sure. 240 punches down. Let me give you the source. It's number 10. It's called Tory Graph. Tory Graph. Now, it's only a seven year old, and uh, you know, it's stepping up in trip today. It really is. But I think that's the key thing. And also, the ground's going to be great for this one. Uh, it's a lovely gelding. It's only seven. And I think it's a real, not, not just an Irish Grand National hope. I think in a couple of years, this could win the English Grand National. That's a bit of a bold statement. But it's a sort of horse that Gordon Elliott could uh, certainly map out to win the national um, in England, of course, the Taintree. Uh, not this year, but it's certainly uh, very much one to keep your very close eye on your notebooks. Number 10, Tory Graph, ridden by Dennis O'Regan, terrific horseman, Dennis, uh, trained by Gordon Elliott, as I say, going right up in trip today, and I think that's absolutely cock on. And uh, the soft ground's going to assist it as well. It's going to take some getting, but I think this horse is very, very, very much unexposed. And number 10, Tory Graph, uh, very much, I think, one to watch today and for the future. And it's a whole scoring places for sure. Number 10, Tory Graph. And it goes in the Grand National Trial at 2.40 at the meeting at Punchestown this afternoon. There we go. We're all done and dusted. Don't forget Star Dreamer in the 3.50 at Southall. Tory Graph in the 2.40 at Punchestown. That one's about 6 or 7 to 1. That one at Punchestown. The payout first 4 and first 5. Uh, I'll be back to tonight at 6 with this significant bet. And uh, I wouldn't want you to miss that under any circumstances. In the meantime, have a peaceful Sunday. Have a peaceful day. And I'll see you at six tonight. Give us a thumbs up if you've got it in your heart to do that. Appreciate it. And uh, in the meantime, good luck and take care and keep safe. Bye for now.